In this question, we are to simplify the given term. Let us consider according to the laws of exponents x raised to the power m divided by x raised to the power n it is equal to x raised to the power m minus n. So using this law we can write the first part of this quantity as x raised to the power a multiplied by b minus c then it is subtracted by b multiplied by a minus c. So it is the first part of the given quantity it is because of this rule okay where I can consider m as a multiplied by b minus c and n as b multiplied by a minus c. Now division sign similar rule can be applied here in the second part inside the bracket quantity x raised to the power b upon x raised to the power a it can be written as x raised to the power b minus a then whole raised to the power c okay now we can further simplify it as x raised to the power a b minus a c and minus b is multiplying with a so it is minus b a then minus b is multiplying with minus c so it is plus b c so it is all about the first part second part with division sign x raised to the power b minus a whole raised to the power c okay it is as it is now we see that a b and minus b a they can be reduce the result is 0 so the remaining terms are minus AC and plus BC so it is X raised to the power minus AC plus BC it is all divided by X raised to the power B minus A whole raised to the power C now let us consider another law of exponents it is X raised to the power M whole raised to the power N is equal to x raised to the power multiplication of m and n so using using this rule here we can write the second term as the first part is as it is the second part is x raised to the power b minus a multiplied by c okay now first part as it is I can write it as BC minus AC then division sign it is X raised to the power BC minus AC we see that the first part and second part both are equal and they are dividing each other so obviously result is 1 